So Adboy informed journalists that he acted the way he did after being sent from pillar to post by the secretary of the president of PAP for two days in his quest to obtain a go-ahead to table a motion on the 1904-1908 Nama over Herero genocide as required by rules. Speaking to journalists in the capital on Tuesday, Kasingo conceded that although such conduct warrants concern, her hands are tied to discipline or sanction any explanation against Swartboy as she no longer serves in any talk structures of PAP. Kasingo says she could have reacted if such incidents occurred during her tenure as vice president of PAP a few years ago before asking journalists to approach Swartboy to explain instead. There at the Pan-African Parliament, I'm just a mere member of her. PAP. There was a time uh, during 2012 to 2015, I was a vice president of Pan African Parliament. Should it had not, ha should it have happened during that period when I was a vice president, I could have given you how I felt, how PAP uh, felt. The firebrand lawyer turned politician in his defense, criticized and accused PAP of being used as a tool for ruling parties in Africa to silent dissent as they selectively approve motions while trampling or rejecting any by opposition figures. This thing mandate mm. says good governance. Mm. So in our countries, we must speak about good governance. Mm. Here, out of African solidarity, we must keep quiet. So we'll be raising these complaints. We don't think it will be heard by anyone because you can see it's a sister's party gathering. That's Pan-African Parliament. Meanwhile, PAP, amongst others, recently endorsed a resolution to unconditionally lift all sanctions against Zimbabwe by appointing a lobby group to pressure the African Union, United States and European Union parliaments against such demands. The PAP resolved that the sanctions on Zimbabwe have adversely affected the whole of the Southern region. And PAP uh, resolved uh, to send a delegation to the African Union, to SADC, so that they can also cement, because we are aware uh, that SADC head of state, they have also expressed the need to, to lift up this uh, sanction. They also adopted a resolution to mediate in ending conflicts in DRC, Rwanda and Mozambique, and criticized a resolution by the EU's parliament against a quest to build oil pipelines in Uganda's western parts to the port of Tanga in Tanzania to extract lucrative oil reserves. The EU's resolution sought to garner international aid to stop oil extractions around Lake Albert, citing damages to the ecosystem and its impact on climate change.